everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will be proving Euler's theorem in case of Cobb-Douglas production function. So, let's get started. Let's first look at what Euler's theorem state. Euler's theorem state that the total output Q will be exhausted when factors are paid equal to their marginal products. That is, what Euler's theorem state is when our wage rate will be equal to marginal product of labor and the rate of return on capital that is R when it is equal to marginal product of capital then our total output Q will be exhausted. Let's prove it. Before that Let's look at what Cobb-Douglas production function is. So, the Cobb-Douglas production function is mathematically given as Q is equal to A L raised to alpha K raised to beta. Now, what is Q? Q is a manufacturing output. What is L? That is the quantity of labor employed. What is K? It is the quantity of capital employed and our three constants are capital A, alpha and beta. They are our constants. So this is what is Cobb-Douglas production function. Now what Euler's theorem state is when? So Euler's theorem is applicable when we have a linear homogeneous production function. So linear homogeneous production function. Now, in case of Cobb-Douglas production function, we say that this is linear homogeneous production function when alpha plus beta is equal to 1. So why is it so? Let's look at what a homogeneous production function is. Let's say our Q is equal to this. Now, we will multiply this term or we will multiply our inputs that is L and K by uh, any constant, let's say X. So, we are going to multiply this. So, what do we get is multiplying our inputs L and K by x so now further simplifying it what we get is q dash is equal to a x raised to alpha l raised to alpha x raised to beta k raised to beta and this is equal to A is constant and here X was also constant. So X raised to alpha and X raised to beta. So what do we get is A X raised to alpha plus beta L raised to alpha K raised to beta but a l raised to alpha k raised to beta is q so what do we get is q dash is equal to x raised to alpha plus beta k 
cube. So we can say that this is a homogeneous production function because when we multiply our inputs by some constant, let's say x, our output also rises by uh, x raised to alpha plus beta. And therefore, this is a homogeneous production function. But what is linear homogeneous production function? Linear homogeneous production function will be when alpha plus beta is equal to 1. So, when alpha plus beta is equal to 1, what we get is q dash is equal to x raised to 1 q. So, this is a case of linear homogeneous function. Linear homogeneous function will be when alpha plus beta is equal to 1. That is, let's say if we are doubling our inputs, our output will also be doubled. So, to conclude, we can say that if we increase the inputs by some proportion, then the output will also increase by the same proportion. So, that is what is linear homogeneous function. So, this is what is the basic concept of Cobb Douglas production function. Now, coming on to Euler's theorem. So, we have already seen that uh, when factors are paid equal to their marginal product, the total output will be exhausted. This is what we need to prove. So, what all things are given? Q is equal to A L raised to alpha K raised to beta, which is Cobb Douglas production function and alpha plus beta is equal to 1, which shows constant returns to scale. This shows constant returns to scale. Now, uh, accordingly, the condition for Q will also become equal to that is L into MPL plus K into MPK. This is when the factors are paid equal to their uh, marginal product. Now, first we need to find MPL and MP. K. So, firstly, we will find MPL and MPK. Now, we have Q is equal to this. So, let us first find marginal product of labor. What is going to be our MPL? This will be DABA Q by DABA L. And this is equal to, so when we are differentiating Q with respect to L, we take k as constant. So, taking k as constant and a is already a constant, what do we get as? a k raised to beta differentiating l raised to alpha. Now, therefore, m p l will be equal to a k raised to beta into now we have this formula for derivative so using this what we get is we get so here in this case we have n is equal to alpha so n is equal to alpha what do we get is we get alpha L raised to alpha minus 1. So, this is what we get. But now, further simplifying this, what we get is A. K raised to what? Now, 
Since alpha plus beta is equal to 1, we can also write beta as 1 minus alpha. So beta is equal to 1 minus alpha. And this is alpha L raised to alpha minus 1, right? So what we can write this as? MPL is equal to A alpha K by L raised to 1 minus alpha. So this can also be written like this. So now, Further, what do we get? We know that 1 minus alpha is beta. So, the final equation would come like this. A alpha k by L raised to beta. So, this is what is our marginal product of labor. Similarly, we are also going to find out marginal product of capital. So now, Q is A L raised to alpha K raised to beta. Now, what we are going to find is M P K. Now, M P K would be Daba Q by Daba K. Now, when we are differentiating Q with respect to K, we take L as constant. So, we have two constants that is A L raised to alpha. Now, we are going to differentiate K raised to beta. Now, So what do we get is A L raised to alpha into now K raised to beta the derivative for this would be beta K raised to beta minus 1 and now further simplifying this what we get is A L raised to alpha, beta and then K raised to beta minus 1. So we know that alpha plus beta is equal to 1. So now beta minus 1 would be beta minus 1 would be minus alpha. K raised to minus alpha. So, what do we get is MPK is equal to A beta L by K raised to alpha. So, this is what is MPK. So, we got MPL as this that is A alpha K by L raised to beta and we got MPK as A beta L by K raised to alpha. And what was our condition? Our condition was this. That is Q is equal to L into MPL plus K into MP. So, this is what was our condition. Now, MPL is A alpha K by L raised to beta. I'll write this over here. A alpha K by L raised to beta. K by L raised to beta and what was our MPK? 
our MPK was equal to A beta L by K raised to alpha. So now, substituting the values of MPL and MPK, let's find out what is our Q. So now, now Q will be equal to L multiplied by, now our MPL is A alpha K by L raised to beta plus then we have K multiplied by what is our MPK that is A beta L by K raised to alpha. So now we need to simplify this. So what do we get is Q is equal to so A alpha remains as it is A alpha now L raised to what it comes is so this is L raised to beta in the denominator and this is L so this gives us L 1 minus beta into k raised to beta plus. Now, our next, uh, next term would be a beta. Now, over here, this is k raised to 1 and in the denominator, we have k raised to alpha, which becomes k raised to 1 minus alpha and then here we have L raised to alpha. Now, now what do we get is Q is equal to A alpha. Now, we have seen that alpha plus beta is equal to 1. Then we have linear homogeneous production function and this also shows that we have constant return to scale. So now 1 minus beta would be equal to alpha. K raised to beta plus A beta K raised to now 1 minus alpha would be equal to beta. So now over here what do we get is alpha is equal to 1 minus beta and similarly beta will be equal to 1 minus alpha. What do we get is we have q is equal to so what all things are common? So a a is common in both the terms then l raised to alpha is common so l raised to alpha then k raised to beta and then what remains is alpha plus beta. So now how what it becomes is since we already know that alpha plus beta is equal to 1 for Euler theorem to hold good therefore we can write this as a L raised to alpha K raised to beta multiplied by 1 which gives us Q is equal to uh, now what we have is A L raised to alpha K raised to beta. So this is our Cobb Douglas production function. We have already seen this. So, a Cobb-Douglas production function is this. 
and here also we get same. So this means that our Q is equal to Q and thus our Euler's theorem is proved which states that which states that the total output Q will be exhausted when the factors are paid equal to their marginal product and this completes our proof of Euler theorem. For more such videos, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.